Uh, hey, this is Ray. Uh, I'm going to start doing these videos on some programming in Delphi. In the Rat Studio 10.1 Berlin. Uh, these videos uh, are intended for uh, people that are trying to learn Delphi for uh, the first time. Or that want to see what visual programming is kind of like. Uh, I've been doing it for a couple weeks. I'm learning. So if you're learning, cool. If this is like, if you're just bored and watching this video, cool for you too. Just uh, be kind, I guess. Um, there's different ways to do everything. All right, so I opened up a form. In this in this uh, application, let's see. I'm gonna do. I want to get into some uh, database programming. So let's. I'm gonna add an ADO connection. Hey, what happened? Oh, there it is. ADO table. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of like a little crud. On the ADO on uh, database uh, data source. Let's see how fast we can get it done. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. When I click on ADO connection build, I have uh, SQL Express 2016. Any data? That's my local server. This is my Windows authentication, which is nothing. I'm going to choose a database. Uh, I'm going to use that. Connection is good. We have a connection to that database on this computer. All right. So we have a connection there. Next, I'm going to go ADO table connection. I'm going to use that connection string, which is in ADO connection one. And what we got in there is a uh, loading is the only table that I have in there. User and sys diagram is probably some kind of diagram of that table, which is I don't know. The data source you need to connect a data set to it. The only thing we have out there is the table. That login prompt. Oh, that's the river monsters. I'm gonna pause this really quick. I was watching river monsters. Okay, so that login prompt that we got a little bit of, like a couple of seconds ago, uh, we're gonna disable that. So we don't want that to come up. Maybe you want that to come up if you want to like authenticate some kind of authenticate the user or something. That's another way of doing it, I guess. Uh, all right, cool. So we have. A connection to some to a data source. Let's populate a grid. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's put some some buttons really quick. I'm gonna copy and paste. And paste another one. Let's see how fast we can do this. Let's put delete. Edit. Who is that? I don't know. Uh, add. Allergies. Okay. This uh, this grid right here. This component has a data source property where we can directly connect the data source and populate that table. So if we set this, go back to the table which had users to active, open that table. Boom. There we go. We got a table that's displaying stuff. 
go ahead and run it. And there you go. These buttons don't do anything though. Put this make them do something. Alright. You can delete uh you can delete a row simply by just calling the table, which is ADO table one. And that's that. Um, edit. You can do the same thing by calling the table, referencing the table, call it edit function. And post it. Actually, you know what? That's a. I wonder if you can just post it on when you insert something in that in whatever column. Add to add. Uh, you can do it different ways, but we want. I want to add straight on the grid. So we're gonna do. We're gonna call the grid, which is DB grid one data source. Data set. Uh, what is it? Append. There we go. Oh, I don't want to save that yet. Okay, so let's run that and see what happens. Delete. Cool. We deleted somebody. Um, user nine. We just we just edited. That table, we just altered that table. Add user 10 PWD false. No, false. Let's see what happens. Add okay, uh, not enter the value null. I didn't auto increment this table, so we're gonna put nine. Cool. So we just deleted, edited, and added. Basically, a little crud on the ADO table component. Uh, let's run it and see if those changes were saved. Look at that. It was deleted. It was edited. And we added. All right. I hope that was helpful. Hopefully, it didn't go too fast. I was trying to go as fast as I can to make it to make the file small. I'll be back. Bye, guys.